You know, the clamp calculation generator sheet that we've shared out so many times, I've now evolved it to also include line height. Let me explain. We have a heading over here that is a size of 40, but we don't have any line height. So we've just left it as default. So you can see here, this is what it would normally look like. Over here, we have the exact same wording. This again is 40, but now the line height is 45. I have found that adding on five pixels line height works much better. So if I go with 40, that's what it would look like. If I was to go with 50, it's a bit more spaced out. I have found 45 just reads better. Imagine reading that on a screen. They're both legible. But would you agree that this is easier to read than this one? Because the letters are a little bit closer, especially when the letters start to get really big. And over here, we have another heading. And this one is a size 16 with nothing in the line height. So this is how it would look by default with a font size 16 or REM1. And over here on the right hand side, we have again 16, but I've increased it by 5 pixel 21. Uh, so 16 plus 5 is 21. And obviously when it comes to REM, I think it's 0.3125 and you'll see that in the calculation. Now what we've done is I've gone back to my calculation generator and normally you would go and pop in your HTML put in your minimum or maximum threshold for your screen size and then what would be your minimum and maximum size and you would then dump this into your sizing over here so if we just go to this one you would get rid of this value go and click the pencil or the pen or whatever and by the way you can use this generator on any page builder wordpress website okay so what you would do is you would dump in that formula but that formula would only be for the font size what you would then do is go over here and increase this by five. So you put in 21 and if your maximum was 80, you'd increase that by five to go to 85. You'd get another formula and then you would go to line height, go to the pencil, pencil, pen thing, and you would dump it in there. Well, I'm now going to give you the formula where you can do it all in one go. So now have a blue tab called clamp and line height. So we're going to set the rate root HTML to be 16. If your root HTML is 10, or 20, you would go and change that value. I'm now gonna say that my value is gonna be five. So I'm always gonna be adding on five pixel. If I wanted to make it 10 pixel, so if my font was 40 and I want my line height to be 50, go and change that to be a 10, but I'm gonna leave that as a five because that's what I like to play with. And then I'm gonna go and change the green values. You only change the green cells, all right? So my minimum size is 380. A maximum 1,200. I mean, I could go with 400 as well. It, you know, whatever minimum and maximum you want to do, you can and you'll see the values change. My font size is 16 and my maximum is 40. So if I was going to say my maximum font size was 30, you can see below here, it goes and adds on five. So let's pop that back to 40. Just like if I was to change this to be 10, that would go to 15 below. Let's pop that to 16. And you now get your two formulas. You get the font one, and you get the separate line one. Notice the 3.125. So that's what that extra five pixels is worth. But down here, we get the combined formula. So I'm just going to go and copy that entire formula. I don't need them separate. I'm just going to take the combined one and I'm going to go back over here. I am going to go to where I have my size. I'm not going to touch the line height. In fact, I'm going to just pop this back to be pixel just to prove I've not touched it. I'm going to go over here, get rid of that value or just go straight to the pencil or pen or whatever. And I am now just going to do paste. OK, that is now exactly the same as what we have on the right hand side. That entire formula has got your size and your line height. So for anyone that's going, oh, you know, what about your line height? And oh, I got to do another thing. And oh, I got to add on five. If you just go to this tab now, the blue tab link is in the video description. You now have your combined formula and you can just go and stick it in. Or you could stick it in your custom CSS part of your website or appearances, your theme, wherever you want. So you've got it as like a global class for your H1, your H2, your paragraphs or whatever. Or you could just do it on the fly, which is how I like to do things, to be honest. But you now have this combined formula that has your line and your line height combined. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. Don't forget to check out our business packs that you can get for $1. I'll see you soon.